Maximals out there in TV land. This is Jose Llanes, the cat that does D flip on the bike for the movie and for the circus. Here to answer a few questions about my ramp to ramp backflip on a bicycle and to show you some of the places I've been. One of the first questions that almost always comes up is what made me decide to have done it? I've learned that I don't have to do something crazy like just backflip on a bicycle to be a unique individual. All I gotta be is myself. You know, so don't feel like you gotta go out there and do something crazy like this just to be a unique individual. Just be yourself. Then one of the other questions that comes up is, well, how did you learn this flip? Well, let's take a look and see. Just keep on trying. Got some good height, but not this time. Hello, water. But you gotta try and try again. And every time I tried it, I'm a little bit closer to doing it. This is my ramp to water face plant. It finally came the day. When I almost did it. on my time. So I could do it almost any time I wanted to. And that was a good feeling. Being able to pull it off at will. <laughs> Movies, they said it was his butt. But it was really my butt. As you can see, I was set up on a downhill slope. It was gentle, but it was enough to make me go faster and turn faster than I was normally used to doing. So when I came around and knew that I wasn't gonna land on the ramp like I should have, like right now, that's when I decided to uh, pitch the bike and just lay it down. As you can see, if you look underneath, I broke the two by four, but because I did, it cushioned my impact and I wasn't hurt, thanks to the good Lord above. As a member of the royal family of the circus, I'd like to personally nominate Olympic champ Bart Connor, world champion freestyler Eddie Fields, and the only man in the world to ever complete a somersault on a bicycle, Jose Inez, to the Serendipity Circus Hall of Fame. I did for the circus. And I want to leave everybody with a good impression of myself. So I had them spread the ramps for my first trick, something I had never done. This was the highest, furthest pirouette I'd ever done. But there was plenty of work to be done, and there was going to be many long hours put in before this show was ready to be done. We were really beat. When we weren't working, we were 
practicing. When we weren't practicing, they were working. It was always nice when visitors came by. Like my little girl and Lillian here. Materialized out of thin air. Another member of the Simply Red Squad, Chris Bourne. Say hi, Chris. Mm. Some of us. Here's Gabriel in the middle of one of his moments of glory. Some of us had moments of not so glory. <laughs> 